praise the Lord. My dear friends, I invite you all for the Sunday Reflections of 13th Sunday of Ordinary Times. In today's second reading, we read from the book of Galatians chapter 5, especially verse 16, says, you should learn to discern the type of spirit that is active in you. With the power of light, you can conquer any type of darkness. It doesn't matter what type of darkness come, but what matters is whether you can hold on to the light and that light will help us to move on in life. Yes. That's why today's second reading says, with the power of the Spirit, you walk over every aspects of your life, good and bad. All kinds of things will be part of our life, but we need to discern every thought and move on in life. I was told that there was a family husband and wife with the two children. They were so happy. And the children were studying. Both the husband and wife, they were working. And one day, the wife saw the new phone in the hands of her husband. So she asked him, how is this? You got a new phone. And what about your old phone? You got a wonderful Apple phone. He said, you know, that Apple phone is fallen and the outside cover is gone, so I have to replace it. But I will definitely replace it and give it to you. The wife was so happy that she may get, though it's a old phone, it's an Apple phone. She was so happy, she thanked him. But then the children asked, Daddy, give, give us the phone. He said, no, no, I did not even give it to your mommy. No, no, I will not give you, I will repair it. I need both the phones. And suddenly that man has to go to New Zealand for some work. He went there and stayed there for three months because the workload was different. When he returned back, he saw that his phone is already gone and his birthday is nearing. He completely forgot about the old phone. He got used to with his new phone and he saw to his birthday his wife brought a wonderful watch because she noticed his watch is getting old. And both the sons, though they had only pocket money for their studies, with that, they could manage and buy a shirt for the father. The man was so much embarrassed when he went and saw the old phone, Apple phone. In three months, it was not used. The battery is gone and it could not work anymore. My dear friends, the man asked the wife, Are you upset with me? that I did not give you the phone. She said, no, because you are my husband. You are the head of the house. You need a good phone. The man said, no, but I did not give you the Apple phone to you, though it was broken outside. I promised to give it to you. She said, look, my mother taught me that our thoughts are like little, little bubbles. And we should know where should allow the bubbles and where they should not enter. If we allow the bubbles in the rice, what will happen? And every thought has to be seasoned, he, she said. So I too felt at times that my husband did not give me but immediately I controlled my thought. I asked the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, he is my husband. Whatever he has is 
our fathers only. So help me to overcome. So he helped me. That's why with my little saving, I not only bought a watch for you, I told our sons also, Daddy's birthday is coming. Exactly on the birthday is coming. You have to buy the something for him. The elder son resisted. No, Daddy did not give even the phone to us. And he did not give even to you. And even though he is not using it, I said, our son, no, don't talk like that. You should know to whom to talk and what to talk. He is your daddy. So you should have the respect. He is a gift of God. Because of him, you are here on this earth. He said, sorry for it. Yes, we love you, the wife told the husband. Because every day, we pray to the Holy Spirit. Every day, read the word of God. And the word of God says, that we should be led by the Spirit and then we can overcome every aspect of our life. We should have every thought of our mind in our hands and we should lead the thoughts. Thoughts should not lead us. The Christ in us should lead our thoughts. That's why we have in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. That's why 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 says he who has the Lord will notice that the Lord guides him and the Lord has him and the evil one cannot touch him. If we don't have the Lord in our thoughts, in our minds, the enemy will catch us. In the absence of light, only darkness will be found. Yes, our mind and our thoughts has to be aware of it and has to be led by the Lord. It's an art of life. Life is an art. That's what we find in today's first reading. From the book of 1st King chapter 19. The great servant of God, Elijah. You know, when he got frightened of the king Ahab and his wife Jezebel. He ran away from the place. He left his responsibility. And he wanted to die in depression. The Lord came and sent the angels to feed him. And he sent... Another time, the crow to feed him. God never gave, left him. And when he ate the bread and he slept again, God did not leave him in his discouragement. God walked with him and woke him up and told him, My son, what type of spirit is ruling you? Why? You are a great servant of God. You got into the thought of depression, discouragement. Your God has not left you. Renew your mind with the thought of God. Renew your mind in your spirit. Who are you in the Lord? Come to your sense. He came to his sense. Yes. Though I ran away from God, God did not leave me. He fed me and he is with me. So he started to walk now with the thought of the spirit, with the thought of the truth that my spirit of God is walking with me. And though rain came, heavy storm came, and even the earthquake came, nothing could stop Elijah. And he went up, filled with the Holy Spirit, and he realized what a great man he is, that God used him to anoint the kings and the prophet. And at the end, he was even taken to heaven with the great fiery chariots, and horses. Yes. Only when we allow our thoughts to be led by the Spirit, we can live the glorious life and fulfill the purpose of God in our lives. If we are not alert to our thoughts, if we are not alert to what type of Spirit is guiding our thoughts, we will be easily thrown away to the world and victim of these evil forces in the world. 
That's why the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23 says, All the time, be in touch with your thoughts, because from there, life flows to you. Yes, the art of Christian life is to be always learning to be in touch with the mind. And having realized our mind, we should allow the Holy Spirit to lead our minds, not to get discouraged because evil thoughts come to you, not to get worried because we get some even bad thoughts. Thoughts will come. The flies fly on the sky. We can't help it out. But we should allow that what type of birds should be in your hand. They should not be allowed to build a nest on your head. Yes, thoughts will come. But what type of thoughts should build you? What type of this thoughts should not be allowed in your life? That is in your hands. In today's gospel we find Jesus is going to Jerusalem to offer himself as a sacrifice for all of us. But on the way the Samaritans village they have to cross through. The people of Samaria they realize Jesus has not come for us. He is going towards Jerusalem. And why should he come through our village? They were objecting. The disciples who are already sad because Jesus is going to die. He is talking about his death. They said to Jesus, Shall we ask God to give us the power and to bring fire to burn this city like Elijah did? Jesus said, What kind of spirit are you having in your mind? Do you know who is your God? I have come to give life and not to for the death of anybody. Yes, the holy hands of God, the blessing feet of Jesus walked through those streets of Samaria and even to Jerusalem. Yes, sometimes people may reject. They will have their own reason. But that need not make you sad or worried. You should be aware of your purpose. You are here as the gift of God on this earth. Wherever you are kept, maybe you are kept amidst the problem. Remember, the light is given to you to lit the darkness, to dispel the darkness. And if you are put in the problem, in the situation of struggles, God trusts you. God has given the power to you. And through you, he wants to bring solution to the problem. You are God's child. You are carrying the Holy Spirit. If any thought comes, thought of discouragement, pain, suffering, decision making, immediately, number one, be in touch with your thought. Number two, read the word of God. Get into the thought of the Spirit. What does God speak about to you? And surrender your thoughts to the Spirit. Third, renew your thought according to your call that you are the child of God. You are the one whom God has brought to you as a blessing, as a gift of life and salvation to the world. May God bless you. May the Lord anoint you. Bless all your thoughts. Jesus Christ we thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, in 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, you have said that Lord of this world evil spirits are always behind our thoughts. They try to influence us and destroy us. On the other hand, you said in Hebrews 4.12, your word is like the sword. The sword on the one hand will clean up the area. On the other hand, it will bring victory. Yes, yes. The same way your thought, your word of God, on the one hand should cleanse our thoughts. Sometimes we get all kinds of dirty thoughts, evil thoughts, disturbing thoughts, even hurting thoughts, but they should not be allowed to rule. If our minds are connected with you, Lord, and hunger for you, Lord, we will, and read your word, O oh Lord, we will have your thought, your thinking, your planning, the way you look at us, the way you have sent us into the world, the mission that you have given to us. Help us, Lord, to be led by the Spirit, and live a victorious life on this earth. Please bless everyone 
who are listening to the word of God. May all their thoughts of fear, worries, anger, discouragement, sick, hopelessness be carried to your light of courage and the identity you have given to them that they are your children. You have sent them into the world with a mission. May your thoughts, your word guide them, Lord. Fill them with your spirit of courage, the spirit of prayer, with the spirit of faith and hope and love. Unite the families. Help each other that they may all love one another and build up your kingdom on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Hallelujah. 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 May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Jesus bless you.